I'm Kaylee, one of the nurses at My Mastery Nursing, and today we're going to show you how to answer the next generation bow tie question. The bow tie question is actually pretty cool. Even though you'll probably only see one or two of these on your whole NCLEX, we want to get you ready for them. The bow tie question has you make an educated guess about the client's condition, choose solutions to correct the condition, and finally, pick out ways to monitor if they're getting better or worse. Let's take a look at one of the bow tie practice questions in our app. So the nurse is caring for a post-operative client. We need to identify the potential condition that the client is most likely experiencing and select two actions the nurse should take and two things the nurse should monitor to assess the client's progress. Make sure to read all the notes and client data carefully. Let's go over the important data together. The PACU note reports a CBC was drawn because the client lost about 700 milliliters of blood. The progress note shows a blood pressure of 90 over 58, 10 milliliters of urine output, and a temperature of 99.8. The decreased urine output could be due to any of these three conditions. This is the dangerous part of the question. If you choose the wrong potential condition because you missed an important clinical indicator or you misinterpreted the data, you may choose the wrong interventions. Our brains love to look for proof that our thinking is right. So stop here and make sure you pick the most logical condition. Otherwise, you could be monitoring things that don't address what your client is at most risk for. For example, if you choose sepsis as the condition, you might have chosen to look at pre-op antibiotics and monitor white blood cells. But hemorrhage is the only option that has trending cues, low urine output, hypotension, and blood loss from surgery. Now let's look at the actions. Of the actions, only removing the surgical dressing is a true no-no. If the site was bleeding, the nurse would reinforce the dressing, not remove it. And looking at pre-op meds doesn't do anything for the client's current clinical situation. Now let's look at the parameters to monitor. Monitoring white blood cell count or lactate will not show complications quickly enough, even if this was actually sepsis. Checking urine output every hour should be done regardless of what condition the client is experiencing and alterations in behavior and changes in level of consciousness show up early in hemorrhage and sepsis. So this answer choice is a pretty safe bet too. The bow tie question can be tough since it does include all the clinical reasoning steps. However, it has a maximum score of five points, one for each of the answer choices. This question type is a great way to study the conditions you learn in class. Plus it can really help you prepare for your NCLEX. When you study a health condition, look at the signs and symptoms, the actions the nurse should take, and the parameters the nurse should monitor. If this video was helpful, click the thumbs up and subscribe button and download the My Mastery app using the link in the video description to get started answering all of the next generation question types.